you guys. Welcome to another episode of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Let's get right into this. February 24th, 9.41 a.m., District Court Room, District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. So, what do you think, Mr. Wright? I think the previous, I think the prosecution is as confused as we are. After all, the victim was, la was murdered in two different places at the same time. Whoa! And, different, and a different suspect was arrested at the other crime scene. Alana! Tell Ray! No, I'm just kidding. I, I know you're my sister. Good morning, Mr. Wright. I apologize for yesterday. I was indisposed. I hope they didn't hold you too long for questioning. We just finished, actually. I'm used to all-nighters, though. So, how'd it go? It was as Mr. Wright suspected. The police are clueless. I figured as much, so I stuck to a plea bar- wait, to a plea bargain. A plea bargain? What do you mean by that? We agreed that if I told them the truth behind the sim simultaneous murder, they wouldn't seek capital uh, punishment. That's what I mean, Emma. B but Lana, Don't tell me you- Much to my regret, as much in the dark about this as they are. Uh, Miss Sky. Hmm. We discovered traces left by the uh, certain uh, person in the police department's evidence room. They belong to Officer Jake Marshall. You found Jake Marshall's traces? Bloodstained fingerprints, to be exact. That's the, th that's the trump card I have up my sleeve today. You don't understand what this means, do you? Do you understand what this means, do you? In order to defend my sister, we're going to accuse Mr. Marshall? We have to play with the cards. We're dealt. Uh, isn't that right, Miss Sky? Do what you have to, Mr. Wright. Get the fuck out of- No, just kidding. Hey, hey, hey! Phoenix might not be real country. I'm real country. Don't be a dick to me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, February 24th, 10 a.m., District Court Room number 9. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defendant is the defense is ready, Yona. The prosecution is. <clears throat> hmm. Uh, I'm afraid you'll have to clarify. It takes thirty minutes for, to buy my car to reach a criminal affairs. Oh wait, it takes thirty minutes by car to reach criminal affairs from the prosecution's office. The victim Bruce Goodman was slain in both places at the same time. But that's not physically possible, is it? What's more, I hear the victim from the evidence room just disappeared. Yes, the body. Uh, yes, the body eventually reappeared in the trunk of Mr. Edgewood's car. Wow, this is one messed up trial. It is. It really is. One of my duties as prosecutor is to present impartial evidence. Today, I will present evidence relating to a murder at the police department. So, and so doing, I believe which, I believe the way in which we should proceed will reveal itself. Now that, uh, now that's what, uh, sets Mr. Edgeworth apart. He sounds so on top of things. Even though he doesn't know what's going on himself. And that's supposed to be admirable, and that's supposed to be an admirable trait? Oh, whatever. Very well, let's... Uh, let the trial resume. On the day of the crime, what exactly transpired at the police department? Mr. Edgeworth, may you call your first witness on the, of the day to the stand. For this first witness, the prosecution calls a suspect of the murder that occurred at the police department. A suspect? You mean a so-called murderer? Oh, boy. Things are getting wild from the get-go. They're like, I don't know. They're not even talking about who the murderer is. They're like, you know, I actually, after this, I kind of want to go to lunch. I just want to have, like, more of that uh, cough-up queen's cough-up dick up my throat. Oh, wait, what? Oh, the, cra the, the thing's starting? Okay. Um, and then the other guy's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> you just said that cough-up queen's cough-up dick. 
Oh man, I thought he, I thought she was, I thought that person was just gonna want a salad or some shit. No, they wanted penis in their mouth. Will the witness please state his name and occupation? Yes, sir. I'm Officer Mike Meeksik, sir. My occupation is um, uh, that would be the murderer, sir. <laughs> So you're telling us you're the professional killer? Uh, sir, it was me, sir. I'm the one who did it. Shut, shut up. Can I talk to my dude for a second? I'll never kill anyone again, sir. Uh, you'll get to, wait, you got to believe me, sir. Uh, actually, what we'd like to, uh, sure. I am the what you call a part of the younger generation, sir. Uh, a person whose actions adults can't possibly comprehend. Uh, please, Mr. Edwards, sir, but, uh, Officer me six. Yeah, yeah, sir. Give us a report of the crime. Consider that in order. Yes, sir. As you wish. After all, I am part of the generation that must be told what to do, sir. You can't fault him for the lack of enthusiasm. That is true. Let's do it, sir. I mean, <laughs> you're not, sir. <laughs> Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day. I spotted a suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room. I was uh, only doing what I was trained to do, sir. I was suddenly attacked. I fought for my life and then I, I did it. After all, I passed out until another officer smacked me awake. So the victim, Detective Gum Goodman, attacked you? Do unto others before they do unto you. That's what Mr. Me Six family motto, sir. I see. Uh, then you fainted and a colleague helped you regain consciousness? Yes, sir. He knocked me upside the head, sir. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. What I need here is more uh, info to work with. I feel like he was sneak attacked. Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day. Why? Mr. Me Six, you work in the General Affairs Department, do you not? Yes, sir. I'm in charge of hiring new recruits, sir. Oh, yikes. Now that's a scary thought. Evidence transfer was taking place on that day of the crime. Which meant any officers would regain would were given special task not ordinary not ordinarily performed. I was in charge of guarding the blue badger, sir. The blue badger? Yes, sir. A lovely police mascot created by the head detective, sir. You guys can't see it, but I'm having a Vietnam flashback, and that's my Vietnam flashback. I was to ensure that it wasn't broken during the transfer of passes. Uh, that was my sole mission for the day, sir. That is not adorable. He's even seen it. I see. Sounds like a very uh, important mission. After the award ceremony finished that day, uh, there were so many people running around that I relocated the blue badger to the evidence room. Oh. So that's why you went to the evidence room. Tell us what you did. Oh wait, what did you see when you got there? I spotted a suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room. In order to enter the evidence room, you need an ID card, am I correct? Precisely, sir. I have one right here around my neck. So then your ID number should be listed in here, right? Is it the 4989596? And there it is! I found it! This one! Uh, one right here! Could you please read us the numbers? Yes, sir! It's 4989596! That's my number, sir! I see, huh. I'm surprised I did not have, like, a dyslexic breakdown as I was reading all those numbers. It all just looked like one clumped up little blob, and I was just like, ah! <laughs> But the number 4989596.
is shown being used twice. That is true. Uh, why is it used twice? Please explain, witness. Uh, it's no real mystery, sir. The first time is when I relocated the blue badge into the evidence room. And the second time is when I went to get him uh, after everything was settled down. I see. So it was during the second time then. When? Yes, sir. Uh, that was when I was spotted and that man on the spotted the man on the screen. Hmm. He was afraid that he was probably gonna hit the blue badger. He's like, "Don't hit my pre my president!" or something like that. I don't know. I was only doing what I was trained to do, sir. I was suddenly attacked. So you were attacked. Can you please explain, uh, tell us exactly what happened to you? Uh, it was a knife, sir. A knife! Detective Goodman, Detective Goodman put a knife on you? What, uh, what happened then? Well, uh, with me, uh, charging in on him like that, he looked at me suspicious, surprised as I was. You aren't exactly the kind of person someone would want to run into. Uh, that's when I reacted, sir. I swung my arms around like an octopus, strangling a detain- Wait, struggling to detain him. That's how I, uh, got this gash on my hand. Maybe, uh, if, uh, you just keep your cool, your hand wouldn't be- When I saw the blood trickling down my arm, I panicked. I grabbed the man by his collar. I bubbled my life and then I did it. What exactly do you mean when you said you did it? I know, I, I know, I don't really look like the type, but uh, I'm really uh, into kung fu films, sir. The man let his guard down for just an instant, and so I snatched the knife from him. You took his knife? I spun him around and performed a disarmoring maneuver. I made sure to close my eyes like a man. What? Uh, I see. He must have been real desperate. The next thing I knew, his white coat was drenched in a sea of blood, and then... And then the next thing I knew... Yes? He punched me right in the face, sir! Uh! Okay, it sounds like you were on the losing side. After that, I passed out until another officer smacked me awake. About what time did you regain consciousness? Uh, no offense, sir, uh, but how am I supposed to know that? I was unconscious! Oh, right. According to the report from the officer that woke up, uh, wait, the officer that woke up, the witness, uh, it was about 5.30. He had me right in the head, too. I woke up crying tears of pain! That's nice, er, I mean, it's, uh, that's nice that you recovered, that is. When I came around through, I made sure to finish my mission, sir. Your mission? Yes, sir, the blue badges, sir. I returned him to the entrance before things got out of hand, sir. Well, uh, we can all rest easy now. I believe we have a fairly accurate picture of what happened. Yes, Your Honor. Only one thing remains unclear. Was the man this officer murdered really the victim? He's got a point. Um, yes, Officer Meeseeks. With regard to that, sir. Take a look at this. It was uh, sent to my cell. Chief Grant delivered it to me uh, just this morning, sir. The chief delivered it? What? What is that? A, a videotape? Yes, sir. That's absolutely right, sir. A videotape, sir. It contains one inch from the security camera on the evidence room. What? But... I specifically asked if there was such a tape, and was told it had been mistakenly erased. That's quite a mistake. I just do what I'm told, sir. It's the only thing I'm really good at. It looks like the commission, uh, the communication with the police department is as good as ever. Well then, let's have a look. Show us the videotape of you murdering, oh wait, show us the videotape of you murdering the victim. Oh, please stop using that word murder, sir. It scares me. A videotape of a real murder. Just what am I getting myself into? Oh my gosh, am I going to get demonetized because we got a Logan Paul situation here? 
Oh no! No! Get it away! Ah! That's scary! Oh my god, what are we watching a horror? Oh, that's creepy! No! No! Oh god, that's fucking scary! That's not even. Fucking shit. Oh shit! Move! 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 Ah! Oh fuck, he. Oh! Oh, he, he beat the shit out of him! No, move it back! Move it back! That's creepy! That's fucking creepy! What the fuck? Oh, that's so scary! Oh my god! Why am I watching this? I feel like I'm gonna cry! <laughs> this is scarier than anything I've ever seen. In fact, that was a horror movie on itself. I, uh, fuck the quiet place. This was just... Oh my god. Well, I believe we're all thinking the same thing. That is the most terrifying piece of film I've ever fucking seen. How can we deal with these unsettling feelings stirred within us? Yes, I agree. <laughs> I want to cry myself to sleep. I have nightmares for a week now. This is worse than Doki Doki. What the hell is that wriggly piece of plywood? Sir, uh, that's the pride and joy of the entire criminal department, sir! As a blow badger, sir! Why am I not surprised? This isn't going smoothly. Oh, that's... Ugh. I will never get that out of my mind. In fact, I want to watch more of it just so I could grow an immunity to it. It's like... It's like when people in, uh, in karate, they purposely hit themselves so that they could grow an immunity to pain. That's exactly what me watching this after I'm done recording is going to be. Uh, yes, well, anyway, uh, this tape seems to prove the witness did uh, indeed encounter uh, something in the evidence room, and some sort of uh, activity did. Your Honor, instead of relying on uh, clearly incomplete footage, the witness testimony will suffice. Is that all right with you, Officer Meeseeks? He was having a stroke from that footage, too. Officer Meeseeks. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, you wish, sir. His face can't be clearly seen in the video, but there's no question that the uh, uh, other person was Detective uh, Goodman, sir. I mean, he opened the locker, with, uh, which required Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do. Uh, the locker was, um, the locker he opened is unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir. So, it must be him. Uh, no one else could have uh, locked it. Jeez. What's this about a fingerprint? Each detective has been given a locker equipped with the fingerprint activated lock. These locks ensure that each locker can only be opened by a detective it belongs to. Intriguing. And that would mean the victim at the scene of the crime would have to have been Detective Goodman. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. I don't know whether where this uh, cross-examination will lead. But everything begins with contradictions. That's where I have to start. Fuck. His face can't be clearly seen in the video. Tell me where you're able to get the good look at him. At the face of the man who attacked you with the knife. Sir, it must have been labeled, uh, if you must label people as uh, having seen or not seen the man's face, I believe I would clarify it as the latter. The latter? But you were standing right in front of him, were you not? Uh, more to the point, you are the person who fought him, aren't you? Oh, yes, uh, but I didn't get a, cl oh, uh, uh, a clear look at his face. Uh. Honestly, though, I like the animation for that scene. The fight scene, it was like, holy shit, he's getting his ass kicked. I'm not uh, the kind of guy who uh, looks directly at people uh, when they're talking to them, you see. Yeah, that's a good trait for a police officer. Uh, still, I'm sure it was him. I'd bet my badge on it. 
But there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. We're gonna have to get into this in the next episode. Please, leave a comment down below of what you thought about that footage we just saw. Do you think I should take it down? Do you think it'll be number 10 trending? What do you think? Uh, besides that, feel free to leave a comment, uh, wait, uh, another comment if you want to. A like, and also a subscribe if you're new. Um, besides that, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Be safe, be sexy, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye, everyone!